Hello guys, I am Sheetal and welcome back to Target Study YouTube channel. You must have seen our video on JE Main exam. As you all know by now, that JE Main exam rank not only helps you get admission into various engineering colleges, but also decides your eligibility for taking JE Advanced exam, which is must to get admission in coveted IITs spread across the nation. So, in this video, I'm going to let you know about the various aspects of this exam, like what exactly JE Advanced exam is, what are the required eligibility conditions to take JE Advanced exam, what is the syllabus for JE Advanced exam, what is the pattern of JE Advanced exam, how to apply for JE Advanced exam, what is the fee structure for taking the JE Advanced exam, when the exam is normally held, what are the test centers of JE Advanced exam, and much more. Let us start with a very basic question and that is, what is the JE Advanced exam all about? Joint Entrance Exam Advanced is second exam of the Joint Entrance Examination System, the other being JE Mains. JE Advanced is usually conducted in the month of June or July at the national level for determining the eligibility of the candidates aspiring to get admission in Indian Institute of Technologies. JE Advanced is an online exam taken after JE Main by only those candidates who qualify the JE Main exam. Now I would like to tell you about the eligibility for taking JE Advanced exam. As far as educational qualification is concerned, the willing candidate must possess at least 75% marks in case of general category candidates and 65% marks in case of reserved category candidates. In the 12th class exam or equivalent qualifying papers or they must be in the top 20 percentile in the 12th class examination conducted by the respective boards. Here, it is very important to remember that for the year 2021, this criteria of getting 75% marks in 12th class has been waived off. Besides this eligibility condition, the candidates who have qualified the J main exam and satisfied the determined cutoff for admissions into IITs will be eligible to take J at once. As far as age limits are concerned, the candidates who belong to general category should not be more than 26 years of age. For SC, ST and PWD candidates, age relaxation of 5 years is given. It is also mentionable here that a candidate can attempt J Advanced exam for a maximum of two times in two consecutive years. Now I would like to tell you about the pattern of J Advanced exam. J Advanced exam is divided into two papers, paper 1 and paper 2. Each paper will be divided into further three parts, physics, chemistry and mathematics. Then these three parts will be further divided into three sections, multiple choice questions, numerical questions and matching list questions. There will be negative marking for every wrong answer A candidates can view the question paper either in English or Hindi. Now I would like to let you know about the syllabus of JE Advanced exam. JE Advanced will consist of questions from physics, chemistry and mathematics of the level of 12th class. In physics paper, questions will be from general physics, mechanics, thermal physics, electricity and magnetism, optics and modern physics and chemistry paper will consist of topics like general topics of chemistry, gaseous and liquid state, atomic structure and chemical bonding, energetics, chemical equilibrium, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics, solid state, solutions, surface chemistry and nuclear chemistry, isolation, preparation and properties of the various compounds, Transition Element 3D Series Preparation and Properties of Various Compounds Ores and Minerals Extractive Metallurgy Principles of Qualitative Analysis Basic Concepts of Organic Chemistry Preparation, Properties and Reactions of Alkanes Preparation, Properties and Reactions of Alkenes and Alkynes Reaction of Benzene, Phenols Characteristic Reactions of Carbohydrates, Amino Acids and Peptides properties and uses of some important polymers and practical organic chemistry. Whereas mathematics paper will consist of questions from algebra, matrices, probability, trigonometry, analytical geometry, differential calculus, integral calculus and vectors. Knowledge of selection process after JE Advance can be of great help for every candidate to prepare for the exam. 
Keeping this in mind, I would like to tell you how the rank list for JE Advanced is prepared. So, based on the performance in JE Advanced, a common merit list or CML is prepared. Candidates must score at least 10% in each subject and 35% in aggregate in order to be in the CML. Separate merit list will be prepared corresponding to OBC or NCL, SC and ST categories. Candidates of OBC or NCL category must score at least 9% in each subject and 31.5% in aggregate in order to be in the OBC merit list. Candidates of SC and ST categories must score at least 5% in each subject and 17.5% in aggregate in order to be in their respective merit list. Separate PD merit list will be prepared corresponding to GE, OBC, SC and ST categories. To be in these respective merit list, candidate must score at least 5% in each subject and 17.5% in aggregate. Once the merit list or rank list is prepared, the counselling for the admissions in the institutions like IITs and ISM Dhanbad is organised by the Joint Seat Allocation Authority. For the counselling, you have to register on www.jeeadvance.nic.in. There you have to enter your registration number and date of birth and log in to your account. Then, you have to choose your desired branch, course and institute over there. After that, log your choices. Then JOSA will allocate the seats to the candidates as per availability and ranks. Now, the most eagerly asked question is, how to apply for JE Advanced? The eligible and willing candidates can apply for JE Advanced once it's open for the registration by following certain steps. As a first step, you have to visit the official website www.jeadvance.nic.in then you have to log in there using your J mains role number and your date of birth. Once you are logged into your account, then you have to submit the basic details. After that, you have to upload the educational and category certificates scanned copies there. All the scanned copies must be in JPG or JPEG format. Then you have to pay the application fee. That can be paid either by online mode, that is credit, debit card or net banking facility or by offline mode, that is, pay by cash, a system generated pay in slip will be provided, which is payable at any branch of the SBI across the nation. Now, I would like to tell you about the examination fee for taking the JE Advance. The application fee for JE Advance vary for Indian nationals and foreign nationals. For Indian female candidates of all categories and SC, ST, PWD candidates, the fee is Rs. 1400 and for all the other category candidates, it is Rs. 2800. Whereas the fee for foreign candidates belonging to SARC nations will be $160 and from non-SARC nations, it will be $300. Those Indian candidates, including OCI, PIO, who are taking this exam in overseas centre will also have to pay $160 as examination fee. At the end, I would like to tell you about the examination centres for JE Advanced. Being a national level exam, JE Advanced is held in almost all of the major cities of the nation. Some of the regular test centres for JE Advanced include Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Chandigarh, Chhattisgarh, Delhi, Goa, Gujarat, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Jharkhand, Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Manipur, Meghalaya, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Punjab, Rajasthan, Sikkim, Tripura, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal. Here, it is advisable to always check the list of entrance exam for JE Advance in the latest notification before applying for one. Hopefully, the details provided here will be helpful for the candidates who are interested in taking the JE Advance entrance exam. If you still have any further queries, you may let us know in the comment section. We will try our best to provide the right information to you soon. If you like this video, so please hit the like button. For regular notification, please subscribe Target Study YouTube channel. We will be back with some more videos. Till then, stay healthy and safe. Good luck.